morning, dear friends. What a wonderful opportunity for us to recharge, yes, in prayer. Because when we communicate with God, we're certainly stronger. And we should do this every hour of the day as we work with open eyes, but good thoughts and feelings in our hearts. And talking about good thoughts and feelings, we're going to talk about how we see the world. It's about chapter 34, The Offended Servant. There was a gathering for a prayer in Peter's house. And Delilah, who was Azer, the weaver's wife, made comments about evils that people commit, they make. They showed disrespect to others in public. And when she was trying to practice the good, seeing how hard it is. And Jesus then simply told the story of a merciful woman who wanted to be a messenger of the divine kingdom. So she came knocking on heaven's door. The angel greeted her and said, sure, come along. And please, do the following, go to that tavern and there are two careless good men who got drunk and they need help. The next day, however, the messenger reappeared in tears explaining to the angel that she was unable to do what he asked because the place was full of gamblers exchanging obscene and cruel worlds. And she went from scenario to scenario. She was going to help somebody, but she was complaining about their shortcomings. And from place to place and situation to situation, one day the angel came to her and said the following words. <clears throat> My sister, just go back to your normal earthly endeavors for the time being. And she said, but why, why? I don't, don't I deserve to draw nigh to a higher level of life? And the angel replied, Your eyes are full of will, will, ill will, are full of ill will. And in order to serve the Lord, the servant of the good corrects offenses lovingly, silently, without being offended personally. Because for every situation, she was feeling like she was taking offense. It was then that it became very, very hard for her to step up to be upgraded. Jesus made silence and finalized by saying, Those who spend much, too much time worried about evil are in no condition to do the good. Everybody was mesmerized by the story. And here is the invitation to us in this day. Yes, life is not simple on earth. You want to help and it's not easy, breezy, lemon, squeezy. No, it's hard, but we can't take it personally. People do what they do, not because of you, not because of me, but because they are who they are. We are who we are, and we want people to also give us a break. So let's give people a break and seek the good in them. How about if we pray now to adjust ourselves to this way of being and feeling? Dear Master Jesus, what a joy to receive this lesson so we can adjust ourselves. You are coaching us to better days, better lives, and we rejoice with you. We want to thank you for embracing us 
and guiding us, for never letting us down to our own selves. You are always so creative in inviting us to the new, new virtues, new virtues, new attitude, new feelings, new thoughts, new words. And now we want to join ourselves in prayers and pray for those who are in greater need than ourselves or in the hospital suffering out of breath due to coronavirus or many other things that we don't even know. We pray for the newborns and their parents, their mothers, that they feel welcomed to a new day, believing that God is caring for all of them. For the elderly in the nursing homes, with regrettable memories sometimes, shame and grudges, we hope that they feel the invitational breeze of cleanse and renew themselves. Thank you so much. For bringing us together, may our homes feel your envelopment, the envelopment of your love, of your light. Today and always, and so be it. Doesn't it feel good to be here together? It does. It's wonderful. This feeling of being united in prayer, emanating beautiful thoughts to others, contributing with the creation of God. That's it, dear friends. And we hope to see you tomorrow here at the Cardiac Radio, where we are always nourishing our souls every morning as well and many our other programs during the day. Thank you so much. And until next time.